Karen Katiana is Ali Bear. Welcome back. It is 511 Louisiana Folk Roots Kid Camp. It's all about Cajun and Creole culture and Al Hebert. He is in Opelousas this morning. He's going to be giving us a little preview of this upcoming camp. I know he's super excited. He's been to a couple of them uh, throughout the last couple of weeks here. He's enjoyed them all. Uh, I think he's ready to go. He's not ready to go. Okay. There he is. I knew we'd find you, Al Hebert. Good morning. Hey, Alex, I tell you what, a lot of moving parts this morning. Yeah, we're excited. We're in Opelousas, and we're talking about um, folk Louisiana roots. folk roots. Louisiana folk roots. Yes. Jean Solis is with me. Interesting person. I think we may have ran into each other in the 90s. I think so. Um, tell us about Louisiana folk roots. What's going to be happening? Well, we're so excited to be here in June um, at Le Vue Village with our kids' camp. Louisiana folk roots started about 22 years ago with the mission of just nurturing and sharing our rich Louisiana Cajun and Creole heritage and culture and music and dance. And we're starting with the children. Oh, fun. Yes. So um, we'll have the little kids out here at Le Vue Village learning accordion and fiddle and guitar music, playing the rub boards and the tea fairs. We also do dancing. Um, eat some really good Louisiana foods and do a lot of singing, all kinds of fun stuff. And the accordion, You've got, yes. I, I love that, I love that you have an accordion. Hey, so Jean, um, where do we find you online so kids can register? Real easy, we're at lafolkroots, with an S, dot org. And there's a registration on there for our children's camps, which we do here in Opelousas. This is our second year, oh, cool. Al, being here in Opelousas. And we've done the camp pre-pandemic for over a a dozen years in Lafayette. Mm -hmm. So we're real excited to be here in St. Landry. We'll be kicking off in Lafayette next week, Monday. There's still time to register. We can fit kids in. If they don't have something like an accordion or a violin laying around, we can help put that in their hands so they have something to play during classes. Oh. And then our Opelousas camp will start um, Monday, June 26th. I love that. Uh, and I, I, why is it important for this kind of camp to happen? It is so important for our cultural economy, for just um, our sense of who we are in Louisiana, and to know where we came from, where we are today, and where we're going. And then so many of us, like you and I had mm -hmm. that discussion about grandparents and parents speaking yeah. French, and we're in a generation that it, it wasn't so it was cool lost. to do that. Right, it wasn't real cool to do that. So um, it's great to have the kids now learning French again, singing in French, um, telling jokes in French. I love this. Jean, you're great. We're going to, oh, I'm so sorry. I stepped on her. I, I it's hate only, it. I have nine more toes. I hate it when I stand on, uh, step on guests. Hey, we're going to go back to you in the studio. Uh, we're going to be here all morning with Jean. It's going to be a great day. Sure do hate when that happens, Al. Uh, we're going to let you get situated. No worries. It's only 515. We're going to circle back. It's going to be a fabulous morning. We're going to get a band-aid for her. <laughs>